the trunk for the car parts. But this right here is what we need. All right, y'all, real quick before I get into what that is. No, this is not the color I am wrapping my car. Come on now, y'all know I go crazier than this. But I did get this out to my bus and for let me use this only because I'm trying to see, like, let me show y'all. If the wrap will like stick, let me see. Y'all yeah, see that little pink defect right there? I'm trying to see if the wrap will stick on that. And then we got like a, another one like right there. I don't know if y'all can see that even. And then like, let me see. Let me see. Like little stuff like this. I'm trying to see if the wrap will go over that without me actually have to like repaint the whole car. I know I don't have to repaint the whole car, but like, you know, touch up that. Cause if it show through that, and I get it fixed because you know I want the route to be good. So that's what we're using that for. And uh, but the main thing, what I really want to do, this right here is a HPS cooling hose. Now this one is way better, supposedly silicone, supposedly way better than this one. And y'all know I had problems with that, kept ripping, but that's because the I guess everything puts back in the car, and then the pump is close to the pulley, so. It shreds through this, but this one says it's supposed to keep the cooling more cooler, I guess. So that's the upper one, and this is the lower one, but I'm not putting this one on because I had to take down all that. I'll let the shop do that when I take it back. And they also got me a little sticker <clears throat> and a uh, license plate frame cover, which is hard, no cap, tied to them. But this right here, now I'm glad they sent me these because I hate them. I really do hate them. And then it's hard to get to that one down there with the pliers and stuff. But these are like more easy and less stressful. I mean, you can use a flathead to unbolt them and bolt them and stuff like that. So I'm gonna throw the GoPro on and then we're gonna get into that. But before I do that, I'm gonna mess with this wrap real quick, y'all. All right, y'all, so like it's a little scratch right there. Hold on, let me get it. Yeah. And I mean, it ain't that major, but I don't know, it's just something about me. I like my stuff neat, so I'm gonna have to get that little fixed up. Uh, all these little paint chips right here fixed up. And then right here, it's like hell damaged, but you don't see it through the route. Don't mind these little bubbles, but you don't see it through the route, which is good, but I'm sure that's gonna get fixed. If y'all do need this, let me know. Still in good condition, you know, no rips, no nothing. And uh, yeah, let's go and put this new bad boy on. Get back on that GoPro, y'all. Just comment down below or DM me on Instagram. All right, y'all, so I did everything. Took the uh, <laughs> hose off, but y'all see, it was coming out orange. I can't see how I see it, but it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be purple, like the Mopar coolant. Yeah, like down there, it's like orangey pinkish. I ain't gonna really see it how I see it. Let me see, I want y'all to see it. Try like this one, man. I ain't gonna see how I see it, but it like orangey, like a bright ass orange or some shit. I don't know, but it's not supposed to be like this. So what that mean, y'all? Y'all let me know what that mean. But we gonna go ahead, put this on. I'm excited to like, just touching up the engine. That shit fun. Cause I already replaced the cooling reservoir, replacing this. I do want to replace this. It don't look too dirty, but I want to replace that, put some more cooling in there. Show that real purple. Get the green belt, oil catch can, uh, intake. Oh, never mind. Yeah, intake. What else? There's a lot of stuff I want to do, y'all. Well, let's go and put this on and stop wasting time. So you basically put it on the same way you took it off, took the other one off. All right, y'all, so it's in there. Now, they did have a black one, but the black one was out of stock, so I did go with the red, because the black would have went hard, too, but it's all good. What I'm gonna end up doing is replacing this, too. Uh, I gotta see what the order one. And uh, then we're gonna get the green belt, but before we get the green belt, we gotta get the pulley. But like I was saying, I do wanna do a cooling flush. I don't know if I wanna do that today. All right, y'all, so I don't think it's nothing major. It's like, okay, so over time when I first, I don't know if y'all remember back then when I got this car first started, put some cooling in there, it was still overheating. And I just put straight cooling in there. And uh, it's 50-50 pre -50 pre-dot too. Um, and it still was overheating, so I added some water in there and it was working perfectly fine. Now, that do say do not add water, but I had to because the car was working fine. And as y'all see, it's a little orange in here, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm thinking is, 
it's more water than cooling in there. That's why I came out orange. I don't think it's necessarily nothing bad, but what I am going to do since I got this new hose, I'm going to like drain the whole coolant and run some distilled water through to get all the extra cooling out and then put some of that in there and then see how the car performs. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it don't overheat because the car been working perfectly fine. All right, y'all. So I just realized I needed to put these on uh, like before I put that on. So what I'm going to try to do to avoid taking this back off. I mean, it's not hard. I just don't feel like doing it. You know, got a nigga the shit out. I'm going to uh, see if I can open it, like open this up and just loop it around and then clamp it back. It don't look like it's going nowhere. What I'm going to do is, oh my God, that purple hit. I'm going to just post some more of this and then hopefully everything goes smooth. I'm going to save that for when I actually get the car back and running and then I'm going to get some more. So, I'm going to open this motherfucker up. How the car running while burping some air out. So my goal is to leave the car running to see how, like leave it to 200 to see if it overheats since I just added more like mixed cooling in there. Let's see. Hold on, I gotta let y'all hear this one. Drinking the fuck out that cooler. We not leaking or nothing. It's down there. It's enough. I think it's air build up somewhere. Cause it's keep rising. Cap y'all, that new fan is going real good. Like, I can feel the air all the way up here and shit. I'm surprised. I'm surprised it's cooling, not leaking out and shit. Like, normally when it gets this high or hot, it'll leak through the platoon. My camera is literally about to die, but when it's dropped down again, I want to fucking test and see if my flames work. <laughs> Oh yeah, they work, I heard it. I gotta do a cooling drain, cause I know it's that mix. And I feel like um, that hose wasn't getting cooling to it. So I probably had to take it off. I guess break it or whatever. And um, see if everything worked. Bro, that motherfucker is still high, what the fuck? See like, all that in there and ain't shit coming through. So I know it's air built up in there. That's the only solution. I mean, the only reason.